But you guys, like, were you theater kids growing up? Like, where does the confidence to come on stage come from? Like, it seems like a, I would never do it. I'm trying to figure out, like, what possesses someone <laughs> to be bold enough at, yeah, 16, 18, 20, whenever you guys started. I think it's so, more delusion than anything else. Okay. Yeah. And then, um, but yeah, the first time I went up, I did get a couple laughs. There were, like, there were only a handful of people left at this open mic because they kept telling me, yeah, you're going on next, next, next. And then the guy's like, yeah, the last comedian for the night, and it wasn't me. But, like, I was so prepared. I brought my wife. I, bu I brought my friend Steve. And uh, I was like, can I just go up? Like, everybody's leaving. Can I just go up now while the mic's still on? He's like, yeah, go for it. So I went up, and I, and I got a couple laughs, and that was enough. I think that was enough to, like, fuel me even to this day. We're like, all right, I think I can do this. And regardless of how many times I eat shit, I think <clears throat> that moment was enough to, to kind of keep it going. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. that first, first little boost of, like, oh, there's possibility yeah. here. Yeah. That's, Interesting. That's kind of, I'm in the same boat. Like, I remember the first time I did stand-up, I tried... <clears throat> the first time I did stand up, I did it. Do you remember the tritone? Do you remember that? It's across from Bob and Barbara's. It's now the fucking wine, whatever it is now. But anyway, there was this dumb open mic there. But for a month straight, actually two months straight, I tried signing up at Helium for the open mic because that's the only one I knew about. And I still lived outside of the city. So every Tuesday, I would drive to Philadelphia, sign up, wait, and then drive back home because there was nothing to do. Mm. And then eventually, I just like found that open mic. And I remember telling myself, because like my boys came because they were like super pumped. And I remember telling myself, like, if this doesn't go well, I never have to do this again. Like that was it was a very hard. I'm not going to follow something that isn't going to be a little bit OK the first time. Sure. And the first time I did it, it went pretty well. I was like, oh, yeah, I guess I can do this. But I knew if it if I ate shit. We, I would never, ever go back on See, stage. You said ever it's again. delusion that makes you do this. And I'm thinking of all the people who go do uh, stand up for the first time on Kill Tony. And it's like, no, that's delusion. Like, this sounds like a very like healthy way to go try and like. Uh, but it's, it's a healthy way, water. but it's also like a, it's a very like, when a lot of people are like, you'll get them next time, guy. Sure. Dude, this was like the first time, like, if I don't get anything, I'm fucking out. Like, yeah. I remember like being, I, this is just another pipe dream. This is just another dumb thing you have in your head. Uh, and it because it went well that first time, that's when you get into all the shit you're gonna eat. That you you just open yourself up for eating a bunch of shit later. It's, yes, yeah. That's how it goes. That went for me. Yeah. Hmm. What about you, Jim? We were theater kid. Me? Yeah. Where does this thing come oh, from? Oh, dude, me. Fuck. I started like at the end of 2021, and or 2020. Oh hell yeah! Like okay. December 2020, I started. I had a good set my first time, and that was it. Like, I, I always wanted to do it, though. And then the world shut down. Yep. I got laid off. I was like, literally, when I got laid off, I realized I had nothing. Like, I yeah. had no life. Yep. I was like, fuck, all I do is work and, like, get high with my friends. And then I was like, fuck, I have no, like, That's thing that life. I give a fuck <laughs> about. Doing great already. <laughs> yeah. I literally, it, it, to me, it felt like I had nothing. Yeah. And I always yeah. wanted to do this thing. And then, like, I went and saw a show at this fucking litter box in the middle of fucking Pennsylvania nowhere. And then, like, they were, made an announcement they had an open mic. And I was like, all right, well, I'm going to fucking do it. I always wanted to. And then I did it. And I stuck with it. And then the guy that I did the thing at, he put me on a show for the first time. And then it was just like, the second I got put on a show, it was like, this is fucking done i'm doing this yeah and so that's pretty much now this is where i am were you like writing before your first set did you go up yeah like, yeah, yeah. i went up with jokes and everything had, like okay. yeah 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 i think you always, i mean i i wrote stand up like stand up formatted jokes when i was in middle school and high school and i would write yeah. them with like in my head I'm like this is something i'll just never do and then i just had a bunch of them and then it wasn't until like after a while, I was helping my buddy, uh, like, you know, write a script for, like, some film school project. And he was, like, going over some of the jokes. He's like, dude, he's like, do you have any, like, these are, like, stand-up jokes. Like, you should just do them. Like, you just go to an open mic. And that's what started that was my buddy being, like, just go do it and just see what happens. And then, yeah, it was just from that. But, like, I, I had jokes from when I was, like, <clears throat> in ninth grade Damn. that, like, I thought, was like, this would be dumb. And I was really into saying faggot. It was probably, it was wild. How many jokes that was like a punchline? I was like, this will hit so that's hard. Every night, punchline, <laughs> Such yeah. an edge. That's your get her done, man. That's yeah, still, exactly. I mean, dude. that's a lot of comedians' punchlines now. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I was yeah. such an edge lord in ninth grade. I was like, yo, I'm going to be so, I'm pushing boundaries. It was like, no, you're just retarded. <laughs>